Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kimchika and we are continuing in Evoland. I feel like I can never say that name unless I'm singing it because this game just brings me so much joy. So, last time we ended, we got, uh, what was it called? Mana? I forget. What was it? Um, we got, yes, mana. And I tried talking with BB, and you guys gave me the great tip um, to just talk to her. I was on the right track. So we are going to go through, and the hint was we can't, like, allies don't actually faint or, like, really die. So we're going to say, wake an ally. And we're going to, and BB's responding. She says, do you know what you're asking me, my little peach cobbler? First, I can only proceed with awakening if you bring me enough mana. Mana is that life energy, extremely rare stuff. And even then, if the woken individual isn't ready to accept the awakening, they'll die. Well, we're gonna have to just hope for the best. Oh, wonderful. You dug up some mana? Let's start off with this beefy one. He'll make an ideal test subject. Well, don't die, Minos. We need ya. <laughs> Still gotta get through that bridge. <gasps> Upgrading powers! Minos' power has reached level 2. You can, focus... you can focus longer to unleash a more powerful attack. Great. Doesn't he look beefy to you? He's hooking out. What can I do for you, darling? Nothing. You did great. See you soon, my rubber ducky. All right, BB. Well, I see all these broken bridges. I want to know how we can go about fixing those. So let's go to the Mayan Bridge and straighten away. All right, let's ignore that slime. Excuse me, guys. I actually have. Let me. Okay, good. I mean, yes, my camera's kind of blocking a little bit of my corner. Um, let's just uh, power this guy up. Level two and hoo Now take that. You shall pass. You shall not pass. Oh, but I shall. Hi there. It's not often you see somebody on this side of the man bridge. Oh, you don't see anything new. But I just removed the boulder. Stop talking, human. Ugh. I'm a human, but you know, that's okay. So, anything on this side that I can explore, other than these little slimes? Ooh, high toadstool. Ah! That was not nice. Boom! Got some experience. Oh, little slimes, don't you run away. Sorry, I'm brutal. I gotta get all of them. Okay. We are on our way. Let us figure out what's happened in the future, other than beautiful graphics. Oh, look at this. Kuro, look. Look at that. Oh. What? What happened here? Where's my village? My parents? My friends? Everything's gone! Um. That's not good. I had my suspicions, but now I'm sure of it. This isn't our time period. Fina, you're a little slow. <laughs> we have to find out what happened. Let's try Genova. Somebody there should be able to tell us. Alright, is Genova this place? Nope, that's Sierra Harbor, but let's go in there just to just to see. Ooh! To be a sailor's wife, you have to learn patience and then avoid worrying too much. Especially with all those tales people tell about the Cursed Isle. Cursed Isle? Alright, this guy's just running. He's a training. He's a wanting to be a pirate. Moving crates and barrels around all day is exhausting, but it pays good. It pays well, sir. It pays well. Alright. We're gonna just talk to a few more sea folk. Sailors are real superstitious. Just listen to them talk about the Cursed Isle. They think the ghost of the dreaded pirate Roberts <laughs> lives there. Nobody knows if he even existed, so his ghost? Um, except he totally did. Actually, many Dread Pirate Roberts existed. Life isn't all peaches and cream out at sea, but things are even worse on land. 
Well, at least the captain isn't around to keep tabs on us. Alright. Ooh, peg leg. Nope, he's not peg leg. He just has skinny feet. That latest storm caused more flooding. It gets worse every year. If it keeps up like this, the harbor will be swallowed up by the sea. Okay. Again, not a peg leg. Tiny feet. Phew! Finally, a bit of rest. The captain works for us... The captain works us to the bone, but being a sailor is a calling. The open sea, exploring the unknown. Adventure with a capital A, my friend. If only there weren't all these planks to scrub, sails to furl, rigging to repair. <laughs> Alright, I bet you if I talk to these guys... Ooh, you look like a captain. There'll be no leaving the harbor for now. I've got a bad feeling, and I'm almost always right. Must be the ghost of that infamous dread... No dread. Pirate Roberts! <laughs> that island off the coast is cursed, I tell you. If you want to sail, go and get a force major letter from someone in the Council of Traders. <laughs> Till then, I won't budge. You should be able to score one in Genova if you look around, but it'll cost you a pretty penny. Traders aren't known to give stuff away. Oh, you just try to kick me in the sh- You see that? You just try to kick me in the shins. Alright, one-eyed man. Hey, if you want to set sail, you'll have to ask the captain. He's the one who decides when we leave and where we're headed. Hi, helmet dude. I came to board the ship, but the captain refuses to leave. May the wrath of the great destroyer strike him down. Uh, well, once we've arrived, I mean, I'd rather nothing happen on the way there. Yeah, me too. I feel like if I ride the boat, though, something bad will happen. Water battle. Okay. So let's go to Genova, because that's really where everyone's telling us to go. And this is Genova, this really weird factory town that's so dusty. Oh, but lady guards, that's cool. I don't think I noticed that in the present. Traders and disciples, traders and disciples. All day long, all they see are traders and disciples. It's crazy. Has everyone really become a trader or a disciple? No, we're adventurers from the past. That's kind of cool. You are now entering the great trade capital, Genova. Be sure not to make any trouble and we'll ensure your safety. Cool. Wow, it's pretty. You just got to Genova, right? It's obvious from your tan you've spent too much time outdoors. In Genova, my delicate skin is protected from the sun's harmful rays <clears throat> by the vapors of the smug. A smug. Ah, uh, I wonder if they have electric cars. Ha 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 South Park reference. Yeah, no, smug. Hmm. Uh, I can't seem to find my key to the library, but I'm certain I left it here simply must find it to continue my study of the scientific explanation for the predominance of traders in an eco ec econo religious system with a post disaster society and where has Mimi gone still hanging around with her friends I suppose well as long as she stays out of trouble and lets me work now where is that blasted key huh well so post disaster society also if you look, there's a book on the table with a candle on the far left that looks like it has the Deathly Hallows. And um, next to the candle as well, the book on top of the one with the Deathly Hallows looks almost like a Mockingjay sign. Don't know if that's actually what they are, but I'm going to pretend because that's just cool. I'm going to pretend like they put in references to the Deathly Hallows. Look! Oh my gosh. Please tell me that that is the case. All right. Nope, that house is closed off. I wonder if I can like look in these bags. No, nothing, nothing. All this smug. Hey, dude, why are you running? It's smuggy. Oh, looks like we're making out. Let me through. I'm training. I need to build up strength if I want to climb Mount Alpha. That's the only way to become a disciple. Ah, so disciples and traders, disciples and traders. Your forehead is white! <laughs> you there! It's your lucky day! You just won this gem of a home! Claiming it is so simple a child could do it. Uh-oh. A child with 10,000 gold, that is. My modest purchase fee. So, what do you say? D do I look like a traveler with 10,000 gold? Listen, I like the cut of your jib, so I'm gonna go out of my way to offer you a reduced price. 
5,000 is my final offer. So what do you say? I don't have 5,000. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain. Okay, 500 G in cash up front. No. If you're broke, you should have said so sooner. Very busy, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, actually, how much gold do I have? Ah! I could have bought the house. Okay, let me try that again. You there, it's your lucky day. Okay, let's go this. A child with 10,000? No. Listen, 5,000. No. Okay, 500 gold. Yes! Aha, uh -huh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm most delighted to get rid, I mean, to sell you this charming abode. Enjoy your new home. Hey, well, you know, key to my house. I'm a homeowner. If you can't do it in real life, I'll do it in game life. Yay! Oh, great. Probably... It's not bad. Uh, would you like to sleep? No. I mean, is there anything cool here that I could do? No. Did I just literally buy something useless? Well, you know what? I think this is cute. I like it. I like our new home. We're, we're homeowners, guys. Real estate. Yes. Thank you again for purchasing the house. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Okay, I already talked to those dudes. Here's a W. I forget what that was. Oh, oh, this restaurant. It's where I served. Welcome to Walk Donald's. We've been serving healthy gourmet food for over a hundred years. My great grandfather founded this restaurant, which fast became the best place to dine in all of Genova. He's a real legend in our family. Wow. Walk Donald's definitely improved. Ha 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 ha, no doubt about it, it's nice to eat something other than camp food. Luckily I've moved up in the ranks, otherwise I'd still be digging with the other idiots. Alright, I guess I could talk to the other partners on those tables, but that's okay. I like how everything's natural. Did you know all the food is guaranteed smug free? That means it's healthy, and what's more important in life than being healthy? Uh, I don't know if she's smug free. Wah wah. Alright, so walk Donald's. We've got the tavern. <gasps> Look at this tavern! Oh, it's so much nicer in 3D. My daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard at the inn. I can't imagine what they do out there all day. Ah, uh, but perhaps you would like to rest for a while. No, I have a house. Okay. Wow. All these books everywhere? I do hope the Prophet will enact their law banning them. Why are we banning books? This future stinks. Hey, wake up, dude. <laughs> Zzz, I'll make millions off this contract. Zzz, assuming they don't read the fine print. Zzz. Oh, great. Hi, children. Whoa. You look like little sisters from Bioshock. Mommy, that man looks poor. Don't touch me, mister. You're gonna give me diseases. Oh my gosh, it's Elizabeth! Huh. My Elizabeth, step aside, old man. Can't you see I'm walking here? No, I'm talking to Elizabeth. Hey, no, not you children! Mommy, that man looks poor. Yes, well, here, let me talk to your mom. Let me talk to your mom. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth! Being a trader's wife isn't exactly a cakewalk. True enough, we want for nothing, but my husband is away very often and compensates by bringing our girls presents. I think they'd be better off if he were around more. I can't discipline them. I think they're just too cute to punish them. Oh my gosh. Salts! Booker! <laughs> Alright. I just can't sleep with all the noise from these girls next door. Why doesn't their mother tell them to ease up a bit? Well. Oh my gosh. Weird time paradox. What if Booker's daughters were those little girls and that's what he's searching for and Elizabeth was his wife? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Do you really think the Great Destroyer caused the Great Disaster? And what about this business with the five keys he needs to collect before destroying the world? Ah, okay, I see now what we need to possibly do. Our family has been poor for generations, but at least before we could see the sun. Now everything uses smug. The smoke blocks out the sun and everyone's getting sick. The traders are the only ones getting richer. What do we get, get out of it, huh? I worry about my daughter's future. 
Mommy worries a lot. Are all adults like that? Yeah. <laughs> We're all worry warts. Hey, we blocked up my sewer. When I was little, I'd always go hide in the sewers with my friends. It was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, did we have a good time. But ever since the great disaster, I just don't enjoy life any- Oh, I just don't enjoy life anymore. Well, dang, dude. Alright, we've got lots of military around. Oh, my sweet. One day I'll take you far away from the smug fumes, all the way to Sylph Forest, where time stands still. Our love will be eternal there. Oh, and the guy's dressed like Booker. Oh, that's so romantic. But I'd rather go hiking on the frozen continent with only our love to warm our frostbitten bodies. <gasps> I am your faithful knight. Your wish is my command. That's cute. Oh, oh my love. Uh-oh. Oh, my darling. Make out, make out. How about I invite my mother to come along? Ooh. Nope, kill the mood. How about we forget the whole thing? Killed it, dude. Killed it. Could have helped you with that. Ooh, let's see if we can buy some armor. Hello, good sir. You got some salts? We have lots of high quality equipment for sale, all forged with the power of the smug. Take your pick. Well, I'm poor now. Well, not that poor. Got a smug belt. Yeah. And, uh, smug boots. Yeah. Oh, but now I smell like smug. <laughs> and I can't... Oh, I already have the armor. Alright, we'll come back soon. Okay, so, it sounded like we kind of needed to get the ship stuff. So, let's figure out what we need to do here. After a long day, members of the militia come and rest here in the old Imperial Guard Room. It's funny to think that a hundred years ago during the war, soldiers actually lived here. They must have had very skilled lieutenants to have won the war. Hmm, oh, food. I'd rather eat here than in the tavern. This way I save up money to buy myself a meal at Walk Donald's every once in a while. Makes me drool just thinking about it. Walk Donald's, man, it's where it's at. If the prophet has his rules, so does the militia. First rule of the militia, you do not talk about the militia. <laughs> Second rule of the militia, you do not talk about the militia. And don't even ask about rule 34. Oh, I wonder what it is. Okay. So as much as I love exploring, I really want plot. What about you guys? Do you have plot? The militia is being increasingly replaced with patrols of the prophet's disciples. Oh, but I'm not a blasphemer. Just, maybe it'd be better to keep things separate? Yeah, you know, separation of church and state and whatnot. Oh my gosh, it's like the Powder Puff Girls. Power Puff Girls. Saku, let's double check everything first. Ooh, she's assertive. Mimi, did you get the key? Yep, Saku, I got it. Brilliant. <laughs> How about you, Ribbon? Did you have the map? Yeah, boss. I've got the map. Oh, awesome! I hereby declare Operation No Toys But Plenty of Books has begun. Yeah! Also, why is Mimi a little see through? Saku, I think we should come up with a better name for Operation. I think so too. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? <laughs> Ugh, no! Mimi, it's not just your operation, it's all of ours. So I might suggest Operation Saku and her friends. <laughs> no way! Why should there be only your name in our operation? <laughs> uh, maybe because it was my idea in the first place? <laughs> well, I'm the one who stole my dad's key. If I get caught, I won't get dessert for at least three days. <laughs> oh, Tantro's so cute! Which means I'm the one taking the biggest risk here. Stop arguing, you two. I just want to read the books that are hidden in the library. It's so boring without any toys. So, so why not call our operation Operation Books for Ribbon? No! <laughs> you guys are so mean to me. I'm gonna cry. She's, ar she's already crying. Ribbon, come on now. Don't throw a fit. 
Hey, how about we go back to our HQ to choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. All right, everyone return to HQ. Hey, wait for me, you guys. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll probably have to go to HQ to find out what those ladies are doing. Let's do that. <laughs> those girls are so cute. They're like little Powerpuff Girls or Sailor Scouts or something. So, actually, tricky question. Oh, there's their HQ. I see now it's in the tavern. We shall see what they're up to. Where, where are you, door? Oh, oh, it's on the side here. The shining ray of light should have enlightened me, but you know, I'm a little dull. Watch out, girls. There's a creepy guy staring at us. Yeah, they didn't notice that last time. Oh, look at them glare. That? No, it's nothing. It's empty. <sighs> huh? Who are you? What are you doing in our HQ? Um, Operation Solid Steel? Yeah, not bad, but I think we can come up with something better. Well, here. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing in our HQ? Uh, I want to help you? Oh, really? Hear that, Mimi? He wants to help us. Uh, but help us with what exactly? <laughs> Good point. Help us with what? I was just about to ask that. So, you want to help us do what exactly? Uh, steal books? Steal books? Seriously, are you nuts? You working for the Prophet's Secret Service or something? <laughs> do you really think we'll admit to something like that? Forget about it. You're too green to try and nab us. <laughs> Alright. So, these girls are adorable. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll save here, and then next episode, we are going to join... I think Operation Solid Snail is a great name, but we're going to join whatever operation they create, and try and get books, and then nab the key, and use that to get what we need to. Not quite sure what we're doing in Genova. I know we need to get the... What is it? The... The captain said we needed something from the trader so that we could sail with him to go to the Dread Pirate Robert's Cursed Island. But other than that, I'm not quite sure what's going on. So, we shall help these girls out. I'm sure that'll illuminate the way for the rest of the plot. And, actually, no, we do know the plot. We need to figure out what happened with the smug. We need to stop the smug. <laughs> so, let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, Evil Land 2 awesome game. This is just, and the graphics are so beautiful. I love being in the future. It's really fun. So, let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter if you want updates on videos, just random thoughts and things that are happening, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye! Bye.